Hello everybody, my name is Amit and you're watching Aptitude 360 online. Uh, this is this is video number three in the series of finding last digits. Uh, in the previous two videos, we have talked about the cyclicity concept of numbers from two to nine. So, if you have not seen video, then first of all, you go in the description box or you go over here. But make sure that you have seen both those videos because all the theory we have discussed there, right? Uh, another very important thing that I need to tell you is before you go through this video. I have put all the questions in the description box. आप वहाँ पे जाके इन सारे questions को अपनी speed में लगाइए and then come back to this video so that this becomes very beneficial for you, right? So having 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 that understanding that you have solved these questions on your own, uh, I'm gonna move ahead and find out how do we find out last digit of these numbers. Now probably this is way too simple. You have got uh, what is that you should be discarding this is this is 12 gets discarded and over here you have got 4 is to power and even number and and in video number one we discussed that 4 is to power any even number will give you 6 at the unit pace that's it right could you see that these are the 10 second problems not even 5 second problems now how do we find out what is going to be the digit uh, the digit at unit pace uh, 251 can be written as 1 is to power 4, 5, 3, 7. Now try to understand this thing. Whatever you write does not make a difference because over here 1 is to power any number. 1 is to power any number will give you 1 at the unit pace. Is that okay? Uh, if you understand that thing, we are moving over here. Now, how do we deal with these kind of problems? Now, now understand this. This is 4 is to power 32 and this is 1 is to power any number and I would say that 4 is to power any even number will give me 6 at the unit pace and 1 is to power any number will give me 1 at the unit pace and when I multiply these two numbers I am getting 6 so 6 is going to be the answer of this very huge problem that's it is se jada to kuch bhi nahi karna hai aapko samaj mein aaya kya aapko wo video number 1 ki sari cyclicity concept video 2 ki sari cyclicity concept wo sari samajhne hai and then whenever you come across such problems positive hai or multiplication sign hai so whatever you are doing with your numbers do with your uh, do with your last digit and answer to bahut hi aaram se aa jayega right so with that with this understanding i am going to solve this problem now try to understand this this is way too simple why because uh, this is 5 is to power this gets discarded 5 is to power any number the last digit will be 5 and and this gets discarded because the cyclicity of 2 is 4 so we will have to focus on 2 is to power we will have to focus on 2 is to power 98 and what is that we have learned 98 should be divided by 4 and if you do that what is going to be the what is going to be the remainder if the remainder is 2 2 will not be digit at unit pace what is going to be the digit at unit pace it is going to be 2 to power 2 which is which is 4 so this 5 negative 4 what is going to be digit at unit pace digit at unit pace in this problem is coming out as 1 bus or kuch bhi nahi hai ye right now, how do we deal with, deal with this thing? Now, try to understand this. The cyclicity of 8, because 8 ke pehle kuch bhi likha ho, does not make a difference. 7 ke pehle kuch bhi likha ho, does not make a difference. Cyclicity of 8 is 4. So, we will be concerned with the, with the last two numbers in the power, which is 56. And, and similarly, in the, in the power of 7, we will be concerned with the last two digits, right? Now, 56 is divided by 4. अगर आपने 56 को 4 से डिवाइड किया तो रिमाइंडर क्या आया रिमाइंडर आया 0 और अगर रिमाइंडर 0 आ गया तो इसका मतलब क्या हो गया लास्ट वाले प्लेस पे 8 इज टू पावर 4 व्हिच इज गोइंग टू बी हाउ मच दैट्स गोना बी दैट्स गोना बी 6 इज दैट ओके यू हैव यू हैव लर्न दोस थिंग्स इन द इन द वीडियो नंबर 1 8 इज टू पावर 4 अगर आपको निकालना ही हो गया तो आप क्या कर दोगे दिस इज से फॉर एग्जांपल यू हैव फॉरगॉटन दिस and you say that okay this is 64 into 64 how 64 into 64 8 square into 8 square concentrate over here 4 into 4 is coming out as 6 that is it right and and the cyclicity of 7 is also the cyclicity of 7 is also 4 and hence this number 89 should be divided by 4 
और जैसे ही हम ये काम करेंगे हमारे को पता चल जाएगा कि हमारा जो रिमाइंडर है वो वन आया इज दट ओके रिमाइंडर वन आने का क्या मतलब हो गया यूनिट टेस्ट पे क्या होना चाहिए यूनिट टेस्ट पे होना चाहिए सेवन इंस टू पार वन एंड एंड इफ दिस इज द केस दिस इज गुना बी सेवन प्लस सेवन प्लस सिक्स एंड सेवन प्लस सिक्स को जब हम एड करेंगे तो यूनिट वाली प्लेस पे कितना आएगा यूनिट वाली प्लेस पे इन दिस क्वेश्चन द आंसर इज गोइंग टू बी थ्री वेरी 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 सिंपल कॉन्सेप्ट राइट अगर ये अगर ये पॉजिटिव की बजाय हैड इट बीन अ साइन ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन वट यू वुड हैव डन यू वुड हैव मल्टीप्लाइड सिक्स एंड सेवन एंड इफ यू मल्टीप्लाई सिक्स एंड सेवन वट शुड बी द डिजिट एट यूनिट प्लेस द डिजिट एट यूनिट प्लेस विल बी सिक्स इंटू सेवन इट इज फोर्टी टू तो फोर्टी टू का लास्ट का प्लेस कितना हो गया टू सो टू वुड हैव बीन द एंसर हैड इट बीन द साइन ऑफ मल्टीप्लीकेशन समझ में आया क्या ना से आई हैव गॉट दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड देर आर पीपल जो ना इस क्वेश्चन को सॉल्व करने लगते हैं जो इस क्वेश्चन को बड़े अच्छे से सॉल्व करेंगे मैंने बोल दिया कि भाई इस वाले नंबर का इस वाले नंबर का डिजिट निकालना है यूनिट प्लेस पे तो वो क्या करेंगे सबका इंडिविजुअली निकालते जाएंगे राइट अब सबका इंडिविजुअली निकालने की जरूरत है क्या सिंस यू हैव डन दैट कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ नंबर ऑफ जीरो यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इन ऑर्डर टू गेट इन ऑर्डर टू गेट अ जीरो You need to have, you need to have टू and फाइव right? अब आप देखो ना यहां पर कितने सारे फाइव है कितने सारे फाइव है बहुत सारे फाइव मिलेंगे आपको और टू बहुत सारे हैं वेन दीज नंबर विल बी मल्टीप्लाइड नाउ यू अंडरस्टैंड दैट डिजिट एट यूनिट प्लेस फॉर श्योर इज गोइंग टू बी जीरो यू हैव नॉट अंडरस्टूड दैट कॉन्सेप्ट गो ओवर हियर मेक श्योर दैट यू हैव सीन दो थ्री वीडियोज दैट आई हैव मेड फॉर नंबर ऑफ जीरो कॉन्सेप्ट बिकॉज दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कॉन्सेप्ट हर एक एग्जामिनेशन में वो यूटिलाइज होता है तो उसको आप सीख के रखो और जैसे ही आप उस कॉन्सेप्ट को सीख लोगे आपको एक चीज तो बड़ी अच्छे से समझ में आ जाएगी वो क्या है कि इस प्रॉब्लम को आप देखते ही आंसर कर पाओगे जैसे मैंने क्या बोला यहाँ पे फाइव भी दिख रहा है और यहाँ पे टू तो बहुत सारी जगहों पे दिख रहा है तो इसका मतलब क्या होगा टू एंड फाइव विल गेट मल्टीप्लाइड एंड एंड द डिजिट एट यूनिट प्लेस विल बी नथिंग बट जीरो अच्छा क्वेश्चन तो ये तब होता ना जब वो आपसे ये पूछता एज टू हाउ मेनी जीरो आर देर देन दिस वुड हैव बीन अ बेटर प्रॉब्लम राइट बट देन दे आर आस्किंग यू ओनली टू फाइंड आउट डिजिट एट यूनिट प्लेस सबसे आसान हो गया ये प्रॉब्लम राइट सो डोंट यू ट्राई टू डू एनी ना हाउ डू बी सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम एंड आई से दैट अगर ये प्रॉब्लम लगाना है तो दैट्स दैट्स गोना बी सेवन इज टू पार नाइनटी फाइव यू अंडरस्टैंड वाई एंड दिस इज दिस इज थ्री टू पार फिफ्टी एट बिकॉज द सेक्लिसिटी ऑफ सेवन इज द सेक्लिसिटी ऑफ सेवन इज फोर इसके पहले का ये नंबर हटा दो इसके पहले का ये नंबर हटा दो यहां से थ्री हटा दो एंड देन वॉट इज दैट वी शुड बी डूइंग नाउ दिस नाइनटी फाइव दिस नाइनटी फाइव शुड बी डिवाइडेड बाई फोर और अगर आप ऐसा करोगे तो वट इज दैट यू विल बी गेटिंग सो दिस इज ट्वेंटी थ्री एंड नाइनटी टू You are getting this. Seven is to power three. So seven is to power three. What is the digit at unit place and seven is to power three, which is three forty three. Yaha pe ye nikal ke a gaya. This one is coming out as three. Is that okay? Now how about how about three is to power fifty eight? If I need to find out what is going to be the case with three is to power fifty eight, see this thing over here. Fifty eight when it is divided by four. Why it is divided by four? Because three ki सेक्लिसिटी कितनी है फोर है इज दैट ओके तो इसको डिवाइड करेंगे तो कितना आ जाएगा नाउ अंडरस्टैंड दिस 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 इज कमिंग आउट एज टू सो इफ दिस इज कमिंग आउट एज टू व्हाट इज गोइंग टू बी डिजिट एट यूनिट प्लेस इट इज थ्री स्क्वायर थ्री स्क्वायर का मतलब कितना हो गया नाइन हो गया अब कई लोग बोलेंगे भाई ये क्या चीज आ गया हाउ कम वी कैन सब्सट्रैक्ट थ्री से नाइन एंड देन पीपल वुड से दैट वट इज द आंसर इज सिक्स right and and do you think see that 6 is is one of the option but 6 is not the right answer kyu right answer nahi hai yahan pe ek na cheez bade aasan se aasani se aap samjho yahan pe say for example say for example i have got 1 1 3 and 3 and then i have got 99 one thing which is very very clear is this one thing which is very very clear is this this number obviously this number obviously is uh, bigger than this number right this is you see this is what 2 and 2 and 2 this is six digit number this is 2 and 2 and this is one so five digit number so obviously this very this number is bigger than this number so this number is going to be bigger than this number aur agar aur agar mere ko yahan pe nikalna hota what is the digit at unit place 
1133 is bigger than 99 and if I have to find out what is going to be digit at unit place in dono ko isse isko subtract karke I would see this yaha se carry forward aega jo bachman se sikha hua hai yaha se ek aega 1 aur ye 3 ho jayega 13 aur 13 me se 9 jab aap subtract karoge then the answer would be 4 ye ek badi choti si cheez humare ko yaha pe sikhni hai maine kya bola because this number is bigger than this number and even if you will have to subtract 9 from 3, you know 3 के जो आगे होगा वो सारा का सारा number तो बहुत ही बड़ा है, तो वहाँ से 10th place से आप एक carry forward लोगे, 3 को 13 बना दोगे, जैसे आपने 3 को 13 बना दिया, वो 13 minus 9 will give you answer as 4, so majority of the students would put 6 as the answer, but what is the right answer over here, the right answer is, is 4, I hope you have understood this problem, right? Now, the last problem that we should be solving over here is, this is 8 is to power, I say this is 8 is to power 56 plus 7 is to power 89. Now, I am kind of increasing my speed. This is 8 is to power 56. 56 is divisible by 4. Why it is divisible by 4? Because the cyclicity of 8 is 4. So, this will be unit base pe a jayega 6, right? And how about 89? Even 89 is divided by uh, 4, the, the remainder is coming out as 1 and hence the digit is this. So, this is what is the answer. Now, now this is this is a good problem to solve. Uh, if you haven't solved it, I, I suggest that you solve this problem and come back over here. So, they are saying that what if 10 is to power 25 minus 25 and you have to find out digit at, digit at unit place. Now, you have to understand this. 100 is to power 25 ko can you write it as can you write it as 10 square 25 can you write this is 10 is to power 50 one thing which is very very clear is the meaning of 10 is to power 50 is 1 is followed by 50 zeros is that okay jaise jaise 10 is to power 1 iska matlab kya ho gaya 1 is followed by only 1 zero what is the meaning of 10 is to power 2 which is 100 10 is for 1 is followed by two zeros similarly similarly 10 is to power 3 the meaning is 1 is followed by three zeros right so similarly agar aapko ye samajh mein aa gaya ki 10 is to power 50 ka matlab ho gaya 1 followed by 1 2 3 4 ye sara ka sara kahan tak aayega ye sara ka sara aayega 50 times aayega अब इस बहुत ही बड़े नंबर में से आप क्या सब्सट्रैक्ट करना चाहते हो? You wanna subtract 25. Now try to understand this. ये सारे के सारे जीरो हैं यहाँ पे. ये सारे के सारे जीरो हैं. Let me change the color of the pen. Uh, if that is the case, and if we subtract 25 from here, so what is that we should be getting at the unit place? Unit place is going to be five. What is going to be the tens place? That's that's seven. But then इसके पहले भी तो एक जीरो है ना यहाँ पे. वो जीरो क्या हो जाएगा हर जगह से वन लेके आओगे तो दिस विल बी नाइन राइट नाइन माइनस नथिंग बट दिस इस नाइन एंड देन यू विल हैव बी नाइन नाइन तो द क्वेश्चन इस कितनी बार हम यहाँ पे नाइन लिखेंगे नाइन कितनी बार लिखेंगे फोर्टी एट टाइम्स लिखेंगे क्यों फोर्टी एट टाइम्स लिखेंगे बिकॉज़ ह 48 zeros हैं, वो बचे हुए 48 zeros क्या हो जाएंगे? सारे के सारे 9 हो जाएंगे। इसका मतलब how many times I am writing 9? I am writing 9 48 times. That is that is that is the very that is the number that I am talking about. और अगर ऐसा हो गया, हमें क्या निकालना है यहाँ पे? हमें निकालना है sum of all the digits. Now try to understand. आपने 9 लिखा है, कितनी बार लिखा है? 48 times लिखा है. So that is going to be the sum plus Plus then you have got this 7 and 5 plus 7 plus 5. Now what is going to be this number? 9 at the, this is 22 and 9 into 4 is 36. 36 plus 7 is coming out as this number plus 7 plus 5 that is 12. So this answer is coming out as 444. Now these are the problems that they might ask you in your examination. And for, for such problems, you know, you, you do not even have to know the divisibility, uh, uh, the concept of cyclicity. So, you might come across such problems as well. But then, this, I would call that this, this is such a good problem to solve.
now how do we find out right most digit non zero number i have to find out non zero number over here which is which is 2 to the power 2 to the power 53 right can i say that this is nothing but 2 to the power 53 into into 10 to the power 53 and what is the meaning of saying we have got 10 is to power 53 the meaning of 10 is to power 53 is one is followed by how many zeros one is followed by 53 zeros and if that is the case we will have to find out the first non-zero number from here and what is the cyclicity of 2 which is 4 so 53 53 should be divided by 4 and what is going to be the remainder the remainder is going to be 1 that means the digit at unit place will be nothing but 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 two so two uh, before two you will be having over here you will be having 53 zeros one two three so forth and so on so how many zeros we will be having we certainly will be having 53 zeros and the first non-zero number will be will be two problem is is very very simple provided you understand those very small things right so uh, this is what we had in this video uh, in these three videos we talked about uh, as to how we can find out the last digit of any number bigger or smaller or anything uh, in the next video we would be talking about basics of factors as to how we can find out number of factors of a given number jaise agar aapko 10000 ke factors nikalne hue and can you do that in 10 3 seconds yes you can do that in 3 seconds for that you will have to watch that series of 5 to 6 videos where we have talked about factors so and this this concept is is very important one directly nahi aata indirectly aa jata hai kahin na kahin pe ye concept maine dekha hai ki har ek examination mein from the tougher one to the to the to the a koi kisi bhi examination pe har jagah pe is concept ko use kiya jata hai right so better you watch those videos and get your concepts clear uh thank you very much for watching this one guys bye bye and take care